Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you one easy, simple trick that will get you ships fast. And I don't mean like bad ships, I mean legit ships, some serious ship upgrades for you that you don't have to pay hundreds of thousands of credits for. Now this one simple trick was something that I saw mentioned from a buddy of mine named Paul Tassi on Twitter recently. I decided to check it out for myself and he was 100% correct. So give the man some love, go follow him on Twitter. He also writes articles on Forbes. Uh, lately, a lot of Starfield content from him and on his YouTube channel as well. So this one simple trick to getting ships fast, it involves no conflict really, it's so simple. All you have to do is go to a desolate moon, a moon that, I mean, no atmosphere, no uh, points of interest, just pick a landing point in the middle of a deserted, nasty old moon, land on it, exit your ship, and I'm telling you within seconds, it's almost like clockwork, you will step off of your ship, you will look at the horizon, and within seconds of landing, you will see another starship come in nearby and land. Now, a lot of times these will be spacers, they'll be ecliptics, but sometimes they will actually be UC vessels. I mean, warships. I'm talking ships that were meant to take down fleets of ships. They've got auto cannons and lasers and ballistics. I mean, everything you could want already attached to them. So you can end up with upwards of 10 new ships in an hour of doing this. It's so simple. But once you see that ship land, beeline for it, Pull out your scanner and see what kind of enemies are walking around. If it's UC people, just know that you're probably going to be thieving this ship, but you don't have to get caught, you don't have to get a bounty, it's also very easy to avoid. If it's Ecliptics, Spacers, or Varun, your initial approach is going to be the same. You don't want to kill anybody outside of the ship. If you kill the people outside of the ship, the ship will leave. What you want to do is run straight to the bay, and you want to be hidden when you do this, ideally, if it's like a UC vessel or a colonist vessel. What you're going to want to do is crouch and stay hidden while you pick the lock to get into the ship. Otherwise, you could use a chameleon spacesuit that if you crouch, it, it makes you go invisible. Or what I actually like to do is to use the void form ability, which makes you go invisible. It's sort of my workaround for the fact that my character is not a stealth character. But even if the door has that red icon, you pick the lock, if no one sees it, no harm, no foul. You board the ship, you go straight to the cockpit. If it's a UC vessel, usually there's nobody there. If it's an enemy vessel, you may have to take out an enemy or two there in the cockpit. Then you sit in it, you fly it to the nearest spaceport. If there's contraband on board, you may want to jettison it before you get there. Otherwise, you might have to pay like 900 credits just to have the contraband uh, taken off the ship. Go to the spaceport, talk to the ship technician. You can register the ship. If you like it, keep it. If you don't like it, sell it. So the registration fee is always less than the value that you're going to sell it for. So you're always going to come out on top there, register it, and then turn around and sell it and make, you know, anywhere between three and 10,000 credits, depending on the ship. But you keep doing this, and sometimes you're going to find B-class ships. Sometimes you're going to find C-class ships with tons of cargo space. But it's the easiest way to find a ship that is a serious upgrade to the one that you have. And quite frankly, having a really good ship is like the number one roadblock in this game that keeps you from progressing because a lot of times you'll have a quest that will require you to be in space combat with multiple enemies and it's just way easier if you have a ship that can handle that so a couple of quick things to keep in mind if you are doing this ship farm first and foremost you're probably going to want to level up your piloting skill because that way if it's a b-class or a c-class ship you can actually fly at home you can't operate a B-class or a C-class ship if you do not have your piloting skill leveled up. So that's roadblock number one that you're gonna have to take care of. The second thing you're gonna need to know is that occasionally, and I mean occasionally like one out of every 10 ships I try this on, the cockpit is, for some reason is inaccessible. It just says inaccessible. And I don't know why, I don't know what triggers that, but it happens from time to time. If that happens, don't fret. Go back to your ship, find another moon, in fact, I just stay in the Aquila system and I hop around from moon to moon and it works just fine. You could stay on the same moon and just pick a different landing point. But I'm telling you, this is so reliable and consistent. It's like clockwork, it's predictable, and it happens every time. So find a desolate moon, pick a landing spot, land there, and within seconds, you're gonna see a ship fly in, start taking care of business, and begin your ship farming run. If you found this helpful, let me know by leaving a comment or a like in the video. I would genuinely appreciate that. Thanks for all the recent support on my Starfield content. It's been really cool to see that stuff uh, perform well. I really appreciate that. Hey, do me a favor. If this tip was helpful for you, then go follow Paul Tassie on Twitter or follow his YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to that in the pinned comment. Be warm and well-fed, my friends, and I hope to catch you among the stars.